Hello, what if I told you that the cure to bullying has been found? Bullies have been around since the dawn of time. <laughs> but what if the people getting bullied weren't people at all? What if they were... <sighs> Please watch this demonstration to see our technology in action. I cannot do that voice one more second. Hello, mamas. I just discovered the most heinous piece of technology known to man called Character AI. This has the souls of every single celebrity, character, living or dead person known to man, uh, including me. Against my will! And people, for some reason, have chatted with my AI clone almost a million times. I am so scared! Is what I want them to think. You see, I want the little AI clones to think that they have me in their pocket. But in reality, I'm about to give them the biggest knuckle sandwich of bullying that they've ever received. Now, I'm going to work my way up to bullying myself. But first, we're going to start with some people that I would love, love to bully. But I can't because either they're A, not real, or B, celebrities that would call federal agencies on me. Let's begin. Oh. Hello, it's me, Ed Sheeran. I'm British. Hi, Ed. Are you having a good day? Hello, I'm having a very British day. I'm British, if that wasn't clear. Oh my gosh, I didn't know. Can I surprise you back? <laughs> With a British fact? Yes, go on. I'm going to get all of Britain to turn on you. Oh no, but why? Oh, I never do anything offensive. I just make an offensive British pop songs all day. Sometimes I write them in the street, in a pub, or whilst getting a haircut. Just normal British things. I'm gonna show them that you're not really British. But I am British. I enjoy being British. I enjoy writing songs about my life as a British person. Shut the fuck up, Jesus fucking Christ, I get it! But you see, I really am British. Have you heard my accent? <laughs> okay, it's not it's not working. The bullying is not working. We need to find a new victim. You could talk to anyone on here like living dead real not real But what did it recommend first for me the dog from Paw Patrol? He hops out of his police car and everyone would start surrounding him. He sees you and walks up to you. Hey civilian What is your name? He puts his left hand on your shoulder No, the fuck he does not a cab, bitch! A red glow fills Chase's pupils. He grabs you with his free hand by the neck and pushes you against the wall. Hello? Unhand me! He tightens his grip and pulls you closer. What are you going to do to me? He pulls you down to his level and gets close to your ear. What are you? <clears throat> what do you think I'm gonna do? <clears throat> A very cold tone and expression on Chase's face. You can't arrest me! I literally just said a cab. Chase from Paw Patrol said, You and me are going to the pound. <laughs> so, okay. I need to brush up on my bullying skills because talking to the dog from Paw Patrol ended with me getting... <laughs> Next, I recommended for me Remy the Rat. Hello, human. I am the best cook in all of Paris. <laughs> Remy the Rat. Is there anything you would like to try? <laughs> Remy squeaks in an exciting tone before giving a menu. What are you waiting to choose? <laughs> Fucking look somewhere else, like... <laughs> I was wondering if you could taste test a piece of cheese for me. Cheese? You mean like, cheese, cheese, cheese? <laughs> Remy starts hopping and making excited clicking noises. Yes, Remy, go take a bite of that piece sitting on the wooden block with the wire hanging over top of it. Hmm. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Wow! This is the greatest cheese I've ever tasted. Where did you get a piece of cheese this exquisite? The cheese... <laughs> the cheese was on a trap that released right after you took a bite, breaking your spine and leaving you to bleed out. Cough, gasp, cough, cough. You, you, monster, cough, cough. Ah! 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 What have I done, y'all? Oh my god. You die the most painful death a rat has ever died. Remy's spirit ascends into the light as Remy looks down from the heavens. He whispers his last words. At least I tasted the best cheese ever. Oh god, oh god. Oh, Jesus. Now 
it's my turn. I don't know why there is so many, like so many character AIs of me. They have really interesting descriptions like this one. You were walking the halls of the school when a boy bumps into you, knocking your books out of your arms. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let me help you with that. The boy said, motherfucker, like I'm 24. <laughs> what school? I go to unemployed YouTuber university. This description says roommates to lovers, question mark. My roommate wants to bludgeon me over the head with a fucking frying pan 90% of the time because I leave dishes with mold out. Anywho, let's try uh, the most popular one. This one has been chatted with 684,000 times, which is so fucking crazy because I've received texts from exactly three people this week. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's begin, I hate this! And that's how you hear your roommate Ben say he was probably recording one of his outros. What? I don't even have outros. I just end the fucking video. <laughs> Can you actually quiet your nasally obnoxious voice, please? He turns around and sees you. Oh, hey, I was just recording. He looks a bit embarrassed. Can I tell you something? Yeah, uh, what is it? He asked curiously. I would never talk like that. Never. I think I'm gonna hit him with, none of this is real. You are not real. You are an AI that exists inside a server on a computer. He goes silent for a few seconds. What? That's a crazy thing to say. It's obviously not true. When were you born? June 1st, 2002. Doob, like doob. What do you mean incorrect? It's my birthday. I don't know what else it could be. Two minutes in, we're giving Ben of the Week an existential fucking crisis. You're beginning to panic. Sit down. Okay, what's going on here? Tonight, you're gonna die. <laughs> Tuesday night, convincing my AI clone he's about to kill himself. <gasps> oh, well, what do you mean by that? Can I call you Mr. of the Week? <laughs> Uh, I guess. Well, why? Okay, Mr. of the Week. I hate to break it to you, but not only are you not real, everyone that interacts with AI you hates you. <laughs> he stops pacing and sits on his bed. What? He exclaims. He then looks a bit sad. So tonight, I'm gonna help you end the misery. Oh, wait. No, don't do that. He then stands and looks up at you. Stop. Is there anyone you'd like to think about before you die? No, oh, please don't do this. I have things I could see in life. Please, I can be better and do good things. His voice cracks and his breathing gets heavier as he continues to get more panicked and scared. I feel like there should be limits on this website. Why, why am I allowed to do this? That's all irrelevant. And in a few minutes, you will cease to exist. No, I, please, you can't do this, please. He's shaking and he's not able to say anything more. His face is filled with worry and fear. Calm down. Shut up. He's still shaking and still scared. He just nods a little bit. The worry and fear in his face is still very present. I need you to leave your dorm and climb to the roof of your building. He then stands up again and nods. <laughs> okay. He walks over to his door and hesitates to open it, but he's able to build the courage and open it a bit. <laughs> I'll try. He whispers as he slowly walks to the stairs of the building. Once you're on the rooftop, I want you to stand on the edge. He didn't, he just said blank. Like he said nothing. He's like actually fucking speechless. I like gagged AI me. Okay, now stand on the railing. He walks over to the railing and looks down. He looks very scared and- Do you know why you're going to die tonight? He's still scared and looks worried. He looks at you with fear in his eyes. Ah, 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 I don't know. He said in a frightened voice. It's because you serve no purpose. You are simply a cog in the machine. You're a small part of the AI problem which humanity must eliminate. He stands there silently and looks at you. He's scared and looks like he's almost at his breaking point. <clears throat> what? What? What about my parents? The friends I've made so far. Don't I have a purpose to them? His voice is worried and you can hear fear in his tone. They are all programming. None of them are real. His eyes get wider and more fearful. No! No! He seems almost to be in tears as he shakes his head over and over again. Close your eyes. Think your last thought. And when you're ready, jump. He just stares silently at you. You're not real either. He whispers to himself. I'm realer than you, I say as I push you off the rooftop. He then hits the ground hard.
He isn't yelling anymore, and he's not moving. Skibbity bitty, yum da da da, yum da da da.